Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video we're going to be touching on the controversial subjects of cheating and why guys cheat. Stay tuned. So guys, let's start by going back in time a few thousand years. You are now Og the Caveman living in a cave somewhere in Africa. And it is a very dangerous world at this point. It is incredibly dangerous. The chances of you making it to 20 are very slim. The chances of you being a grandfather are very slim indeed. So it actually makes sense at this point to cheat. It actually makes sense to have multiple sexual partners, shall we say, at this point in the world history. Because the chances of your, your sexual partner actually making it through the pregnancy are incredibly slim as well. She's, she's unable to defend herself very well when she's pregnant. And the chances of her actually giving birth to a live child is very, very small at this point in world history a few thousand years ago. So it actually made sense to spread your DNA all over the place and have partners absolutely everywhere in every cave on the savannah and that way, you know, if something happened, it's it's about it's about redundancy, basically. If something happened to one of your partners or if something happened to one tribe and one tribe got wiped out by a disease or a war or something like that, you'd have a chance of some of your children surviving because you'd have multiple partners. Now, let's fast forward a few thousand years. That has kind of stopped. The reason it all stopped was human greed, basically, and, and greed over land in particular. So now, if the whole world has turned into a crazy sex orgy, you have absolutely no clue whose kid is yours. And if you want to pass land down to, to a child, if you want to pass even a country down to a child, that becomes a very big and a very persistent problem because you don't know who's related to who in this world. So enter two of the, the two M's, enter marriage and monogamy. So people start getting married and they start having monogamous relationships, which is all great and I'm 100% I'm for that. But the problem is we have not received the latest software update. Og the caveman is still up there pushing the buttons in our brain and doing crazy things, even though we're trying to comply with social norms, we're trying to stay in relationships, we're trying to stay married, everything else. Occasionally, Og the Caveman is up there, he gets a little wild and gets us to do little crazy things. And that brings us to the two, two kinds of cheating, basically. There is situational cheating and there's transitional cheating. So situational cheating is when someone is in a situation where there is a member of the opposite sex is attractive and Og the Caveman goes a little wild up there and starts saying, must have baby, you must have baby, you must go to cave make baby. And before long, that's pretty much exactly what happens. Societal norms break down. You don't comply to societal norms and you just do it. That is kind of the worst kind of cheater. They're out there and they, they kind of do that thing. And there's this really, this, 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 the brain hasn't updated and there's no way to stop that. That brings us into transitional cheating. Transitional cheating is basically because the relationship you're in is breaking down it's on its last legs, bad things are happening in a relationship, and human beings fear being alone. Even more so, Og the Caveman up there fears being alone because he has he has one mission. His one mission is repopulating the continent with babies. He can't do that with a sexual partner. So he wants to keep his sexual partner as long as possible. And if one's flaking on him, if one's about to disappear, he's gonna try and find another one as quickly as possible because he still thinks that the uh, the world is a very dangerous place and if if he goes with that partner for two months, who knows, he may get wiped out and he may not even see a partner ever again. So there's when transitional cheating comes into it where someone is basically is sees a relationship is failing and wants to transition to a new relationship before the old relationship is closed out and that happens quite a bit as well. The secret is really is to not get yourself in these situations. Don't listen to Ogre Caveman and don't try and justify it when you're doing this stuff. I know that when you're doing these things, it's very hard and you try and justify it all the time, especially transitional cheaters. Transitional cheaters will probably try and justify it a lot and say, well, this isn't working out, yada, yada, yada. And they will, they will find reasons for cheating. It's still cheating at the end of the day. It's still cheating and it's, that's what it is. 
So whatever's happening, you gotta tune out of the caveman and realize that societal norms have changed. You're no longer in the stone age. There's no reason to be spreading your wild oats far and wide. And the world is no longer a very dangerous place. And there's no reason to have you know several hundred babies or get several hundred women pregnant. There's no reason to do that whatsoever. So the world has moved on. Make sure your brain moves on. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Click down there, like, share and subscribe and be sure I'll be talking to you again very soon. Thank you.